Okay, so first of all, this is the document that I have been working on in the previous videos. And in this video, I'm going to show how to make figure captions and how to make a table of figures in Word. So the first thing I'm going to do is scroll down to my figures, which I've put all together at the bottom of the document. And at the moment, all of my figure captions are just plain text. So I'm going to highlight this text, everything apart from figure two, and copy it. Then I'm going to select the figure and right click and insert caption. Then I'm going to do a full stop and a space and then control B to paste in all of my text. However, my caption is so long that is cutting off the end of the caption. It is missing off this bit here. So I'm going to need to fix that. I'm going to select OK. Then I'm going to select this text here and I'm just going to copy and paste it in to the caption. Then I'm going to delete this and now I can delete this text. Now I'm going to select this and I'm going to reformat it. So I'm going to change it to a size 10 and to black. And I'm also going to add in some more line spacing here. Then I need to go to styles and manage styles. Then go to recommend and alphabetical and then caption is already selected and I'm going to change this to show Then I'm going to select OK and now I have caption in this list I can right click and update caption to match selection I can also go here and right click and modify and then I can change any of the formatting options within this box. I can also change some of the formatting options in here as well. For example, I'm going to go to paragraph and I'm going to change the spacing option and then select OK and OK again. Now I'm going to scroll down and do the same thing again. So I'm going to copy all of this copy all of this text and then I'm going to select this and then go to references and insert caption and you can see here that the formatting has changed. There are options for this. I can have different sorts of labels. Word has three default ones, equation, figure and table. I can add in a new label if I want to. For example, I can change it to picture and then I will have picture one, picture two, picture three etc. However I don't want that, I want it to be figure. I can also have two position options either above or below the figure. I'm going to have below selected item. Then I can exclude the label from the caption if I want to and just have two. And I can also change the numbering option so I can change it to ABC for example. I can also include the chapter number if I want to. And then I have the option of having automatic captions. This means anytime I insert a image of one of these different types, it will automatically add a caption to it. But I don't want that, so I'm just going to insert a caption normally. And I'm going to do a full stop and a space and then control V to paste. And I'm copying in the text I copied previously. And it's cutting off a bit of the end of the caption again because this one is a very long caption as well. So I'm going to select OK on this. And then I'm going to copy and paste in the rest of the caption. And I need to delete this bit here. Okay, then I can delete this text. And now I have two captions. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and I'm going to insert a table of figures. So I'm going to type table of figures. And then I'm going to make this bold. 
The table of figures doesn't automatically come with a title, so I'm just adding it in. Then I'm going to go to References, and I'm going to Insert Table of Figures. And now I have all of my different options. So I can show the page numbers, I can have the page numbers be right aligned, I can change the tab leader to various different options, I have various different formatting options, I can choose different sorts of labels, and I can choose to include the label and the number if I want. I can also go to modify and then modify here and I can change any of the formatting options that I want. I can also change formatting options in here as well. For example, I'm going to add in some spacing and then OK, 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 and then OK one last time. And now I have my table of figures. And you can see here, even though I had to copy and paste in the extra text at the end, it still included it in the list. Now I'm going to scroll back down to the bottom again, and I'm going to add in one more figure caption. So I'm going to copy this text here, and I'm going to select the image and insert caption and full stop and space and then control V to paste and then OK. And then I can delete this here. And now if I scroll down, you can see that it has automatically renamed my figures as figure two. And then this one has become figure three. Now if I go back up to the top, and I can select this and right click and update field and then update entire table and OK. And now it has updated it. So I have the figure one added in and then it has renumbered these to figure two and figure three. OK, and that is it.